few weeks ago, on August 24th, the Hobby Bunker in Malden, Massachusetts, in association with Boston Train Bands, sponsored their annual game day, and Wargaming Recon was able to attend. The Hobby Bunker is what I would call a generalist type of a hobby store, but it's heavily weighted towards Wargaming. It has a wide variety of uh, historical gaming miniatures you can see here, and they have figures for all eras and in almost every scale, including some really hard to find 172nd scale figures and larger scales like 132nd and 154th scale miniatures for gaming, if that's your thing. If you need paint, the Hobby Bunker has it, and not just Vallejo. If you need books, the Hobby Bunker has those. Uh, in some cases, a better selection than Amazon. And also toy sculptures of all scales, finished and unfinished. Um, the bunker really does kind of have it all in terms of historical miniatures. It's not just gaming stuff. But like I said, they're heavily geared toward that. We arrived in time to see the games being set up, including Wargaming Recon, a favorite, Sharp Practice, which is seen here. Yes. <laughs> Roll high in the beginning. No, no, the like, Force Morale. Right. Yeah. Now, unlike some of the um, Lardy games, this is actually 9, uh, nine 10, 11, so you don't get the variation that you do in Chain of Command. DBA is always a popular option for Hobby Bunker Game Bowl and at the Hobby Bunker in general. And the games fill up very quickly, so you've got to get there early. You didn't get there early. I mean, if you want to, I'm happy to play. It's a great game. John and I were able to play in a game based on the GMT board game Maneuver, being developed by Gabriel Landowski. And we hope to have more to say about that game later. Range one. Range one. Like, He's coming at you with the D10. Right? So you've got the D10, plus three, and then which one are you shooting at? The armor or the infantry? So anyway, we just spent the day at the Hobby Bunker in Malden, Massachusetts at the uh, game day sponsored by Boston Train Bands. John, what did you think of it? It was terrible, really. It was one of the worst ones I've ever been to. Clearly, that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no, what I think your... this is probably one of the best years that they've done it. Yeah, I would say so too. There were a wide variety of games. Um, yeah, just a bunch of different stuff going on. We got a chance to play in a demo of what will hopefully be a new game from GNT Game Company, which we'll have more to say about later on. But I found that really exciting. What did you think? I think the idea of being able to use the game that it's based off of Maneuver, and to do it in other settings really shows the valuable and the great core concept that Maneuver has, but how you can actually then expand it into other settings. And the person working on it is just someone who I know is gonna do a great job, but they already have. So I'm looking forward to seeing more come from that. Very much so. Um, it's yet to be seen if GMT will pick this project up, but if they do, it's one I would definitely buy. So. I hope they do. Absolutely. So anyway, overall, a great day. It's a Hobby Bunker game day. And if you weren't here and you're in the Boston area, you missed out. You should have been here. Yeah, come next year. Absolutely.